Hi, my name is Susan and I am 53 and I have decided to let my hair go into its natural current color, which I believe is silver. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm on month one. So it's been four weeks since I colored my hair and this is a decision that um, I've really been thinking about but was afraid to try. So I made a list of the top 10 reasons why I've decided to go ahead and give this a go. So let's see if any of these resonate with you. Okay, so my number one reason is the roots. So I'm at the point that after like three or four weeks, the roots are just really bad. Even sometimes at two weeks, I can see it. And it's not so much right here that I'm so gray. I'm really gray um, underneath here. Um, here you can see it's really, really um, silver. So I can kind of hide it, but um, as I'm getting more and more gray along my hairline, in the part, I'm really starting to notice it and it will start to drive me crazy. Reason number two is um, it's expensive. So when I first started going gray, I was going to a salon and having it done and it was, I would, I think it was like $50 at least. So $50 every few weeks really adds up. And then I started doing it at home and I was having really good luck with box color and it was about maybe $7, which is not bad at all. But the thing with at home, it's messy. Um, you know, first of all, the back I can't do myself, so I'll have to have my husband like help me, and it's like, it's just, it's messy. Um, I recently moved into um, a brand new home, and one day I was doing it, and I reached over up against the door frame, and I actually got a blob of brown onto the door frame. Um, I took it off pretty quickly, but it's messy. Doing your hair at home is messy. The towels, the sink, I have to make sure it doesn't splatter. It's messy. Then it takes time, so I have to set aside at least an hour, and it's just, do I really want to spend my time coloring my hair? At the end of my life, I am going to probably not wish I spent more time coloring my hair. I think I'm going to wish that I spent more time enjoying myself, relaxing, um, doing things that I really love. I don't love coloring my hair at home. No, I don't. And another big reason is that I think it'll make my hair healthier. Um, I do have strong hair and I, do, I don't think it's really compromising the condition of my hair too much, but certainly it is because it's a chemical that I'm putting on my hair. So it's got to have some sort of negative effect. I've been doing it for so long, I'm, I don't think I'm noticing the effect anymore, but certainly it is having a negative effect on my hair. And another reason is I feel like the longer I wait, the more difficult the transition is going to be. So once I'm 100% silver and then I decide to grow it out, it's going to really have a huge line of demarcation where I feel now I, I, I think I'm about 50% gray, maybe higher in some spots. I think that the growing out phase isn't going to be too, too bad. And I am at this point opposed to cutting my hair short. Um, I will take it up as it grows out, but I do not want to go for like a pixie cut. Um, the primarily, primarily the reason why being, I think it's gonna, <laughs> I think it's gonna make me look. That's the reason why, and um, yeah, the ego. Okay, so that brings me to my next point: is my ego that has sort of stopped me from going gray to this point, right? So when my hair is the color it is now, I think, I think in my head, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong, but in my head, I think that it is making me look younger. And my ego likes to hear, wow, you look young, right? But is that really important? No, it's not. And it's, it's really ridiculous because I'm probably covering up what is, beautiful in its own way, right? Like gray, silver, white hair is, is beautiful. Um, I just need to embrace it and realize, yes, I am getting older whether I put this brown stuff on my head or not. So there's that, and that's just me being totally honest. 
Okay, another reason why is I had seen some pictures that were taken over the summer with my husband, and my husband is about the same age as me, so we have, a, I believe, about an equal amount of gray, and I think I look so fake brown next to him. Like, we don't match anymore. You know, we always had, like, similar hair color, um, similar eye color, and now we look, I look fake. I think I look like I look fake, but I'm not... That's a little bit. That's that's a very small portion of it, really, because um, <laughs> I don't mind looking fake. I mean, I wear makeup, right? Um, makeup is fake, um, so I don't think that's that's not huge. It's just a little piece that that goes through my head, and maybe some of this is resonating with you. Maybe some isn't. If I am saying anything that you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, I agree with her or whatever, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, I think that there is there are a lot of women who are deciding to let their hair go naturally gray and I'd love to hear from them and I'd love the support to be honest. Um, and the other thing is I really, when I really thought of this all through, if I was going to do this with my hair is it's not a permanent decision. If I don't like it or I feel it's really unflattering, maybe I'm too ashy at this point. You know, I don't really know how much silver's there. Um, but if I don't like it and I'm not ready and I feel my hair isn't ready to go, um, to look attractive, then I can always change it. You know, I can always go back. So I've decided that I'm going to do monthly updates and I, I measured my hair. If I would, were to maintain the length it has now, it's about 11 inches. So I figured that's a solid two years. Um, I know your hair grows about half an inch a month or six inches a year so in two years it would be 12 inches with some trims so yeah that's that's where i so i'm going to show you right now this is the one month and i actually think about like right here i actually have like a white streak which is either going to be horribly wrong or uh, I could look like Cruella DeVille. I, I really don't know what that's going to look like, but I won't know until I grow it out. And then I know like over here above my ears, um, I'm really, really quite silver, um, more so than in the part. Yeah. Like right here, you can see it's, it's, it's really, really silver. I would say it's more than 50% um, silver. So anyway, um, I think another thing that really helped make my decision is I'm happy with my hair again. And you're like, what do you mean by that? Okay, so I had curly hair and I have curly hair now, but for a while, especially after my kids were born, um, I lost a lot of hair, which is natural, but the hair that came in was um, pretty straight. So I think for hormonal reasons or for whatever reason, my hair was straight for, for quite a while then it was also straight because I was like brushing it and I was abusing it by using too many um, heating elements on it and a flat iron and things like that. So, and I was under moisturizing my hair and I came across the Curly Girl Hair Method on YouTube not too long ago, I would say like six or eight weeks ago and I am loving that method. It's really been changing how I dry my hair, style my hair, and how I feel about my hair. Hair. So I wanna talk a little bit about that. There are tons of videos on YouTube, but I just wanna talk a little bit about um, my experience with it. So one of the first things I realized is I was using too much shampoo and I was using the wrong shampoo. Um, I think I had this mentality like the more lather, the more suds, the better. But I realized that's wrong and really shampoo doesn't need to really foam up and lather, that I really just need um, a shampoo that has like a good surfactant that's going to really adhere to the oils and everything and wash away all the, the oil, the dirt and that. So um, I switched to this, the Cantu, and this is the um, cleansing cream shampoo. And I really just concentrate on my scalp and just let the shampoo fall onto the rest of my hair. So I don't pile my hair up on my head and get like tons of lather. I don't do that. I really like mildly just wash my scalp. And then I also um, use conditioner 
and I use a lot of conditioner. I realized that my hair was severely under moisturized. And I think that's the reason why it was just straightening out and looked dry. So I have this complete conditioning co-wash. This is also by Cantu. I just bought this at Walmart. I'll leave a link for Amazon if you're interested in using that link. But this is widely available and it's not expensive. Um, I know I don't remember exactly how much they are, but they're both um, $10 or less. So I was also using this. And then I was also using up some, some conditioner that I had in my um, shower already and I would just really really squ squish 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 the conditioner into my hair um, and really let it sit there not so much on the scalp but really here on the ends and in the back I just really 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 put a lot of conditioner and I should mention too that this is um, three-day hair right here which brings me to my next point, which is I got myself a squirt bottle. So when I wake up in the morning and my hair looks like dead snakes, that's what I think. I, it looks like snakes that are just like, you know, flattened by a, by a truck or something. I, I just take this. I've put a little bit of conditioner in here, but it's mostly water. And I just wet my hair and squinch it back up. And I find that it perks up really, really well. So rather than washing my whole hair and over drying it, over washing it, I just use this and just squinch it and let it dry. Speaking of drying, the other thing which I have ditched pretty much, but I do use it a little bit because it's winter time here, is my blow dryer. This blow dryer, I think is about 15 years old. It still works, so I did not go buy another blow dryer. But what I did do was I bought one of these um, silicone attachments. And this is great because it's collapsible. And I bought this uh, at Sally Beauty, but I know that Amazon sells them. I'll try to leave a link like for one like this. So this one fits right on the end and I think it fits on most blow dryers. It fits right on the blow dryer. So what I do do if I'm really desperate is I do dry my hair, but I put it like this and I put it on like a cool setting and just let my hair dry like this. I am not using heat the way I was using heat. And yes, I was using heat. I was using flat irons. Why? Why was I using flat irons? Because in my head, straight hair is in and I wanted it. I have no idea why because now that my hair is back to its naturally curly state, I'm, I'm happy with it. So um, as far as styling products go, I um, on the Curly Girl Method, they recommend like a gel and one that's alcohol free. So I bought this and this is LA Looks Mega Shaper. This is about $2, this is not expensive. But what I do is after I get out of the shower, I use a leave-in con conditioner. This one is Shea Moisture uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. So what I do is I take this conditioner, I take a lot, I take like this much. This might be a mess because my hair is dry, but that's okay, I need to wash it tonight anyway. <laughs> And I take the gel, I rub them together, and I do this to my hair. I just scrunch it. I don't over scrunch it, but I just encourage the curl. And then I let it dry naturally, which I have to say is probably one of the drawbacks of the curly girl method because it takes several hours for my hair to dry. But I also am not washing it as often, so I'm saving time there. And the other thing I do is because I have the kind of curly hair that tends to be flat here and then get curly as it comes down. So I take some of these metal clips like this and then I will clip it at the root in different spots to give it some lift so that it doesn't dry too flat. So I'll just put these in wherever I feel like I need a little lift along the root, which is soon gonna be silver, like that, and then I just let it dry. And I try not to fuss with it while it's drying. Um, I will take a cotton shirt, which 
If I was more organized, I would have right here, but I'm not, so I've got it over here. Okay, I take a cotton t-shirt. This is 100% um, cotton. It's actually one of those Life is Good shirts, which I love. And then I will just go like this and scrunch my hair. So I'm not using my fingers necessarily. They're coated with this 100% cotton towel. And I found this makes a big difference. And if I walk around with wet hair, which I try not to do, um, meaning with my hair in a towel wet, I will wrap it in one of these um, t-shirts. So I actually use this as like a turban. And then recently I bought some satin pillowcases because I do think that um, having a slippery surface for your hair to rub across is better than say flannel or cotton where your hair is gonna stick and really get uh, more matted up while you're sleeping. And I did just buy some of these, these hair turbans, because um, I have, I am still using towels a little bit. I know I need to get away from them because I think the towels are causing um, some fuzzing of, of my hair. So I did just buy these, but I have not used them yet. I got these at TJ Maxx and they were $4.99 for two. So that's my story right now on my hair. Um, if you have naturally curly hair and you have been straightening it, um, I would encourage you to embrace your natural curl and see what you've got going on because I'm really happy with my hair now. It's just so much easier. Um, the only, like I said, the really the only drawback is the drying time, letting it dry naturally, um, so you're not, you know, drying it out with the heat. But like I said, I'm also washing it less, so that's kind of, you know, a uh, it kind of evens itself out. Also, right right now it's winter since I've been doing this, so there's really no humidity humidity in the air, but I imagine as summer comes around, my hair is even gonna be more and more curly as it absorbs water from the atmosphere, which just goes to show you, if your hair is curlier when it's humid out, it's because it's absorbing the moisture. So if you want your hair to be curlier, give it some moisture. You know, do the leave-in conditioners. Uh, really condition your hair in the shower and don't rinse it out as much as you ha maybe had been doing. I had been rinsing my hair like to the point it was almost squeaky, you know? Um, so yeah, those are my tips on the curly girl hair method. Um, so thank you so much for watching. And if you are a curly girl, if you are a silver hair lady, um, please give this a thumbs up and leave me some comments. I'd love to hear about your journey and thank you so much for watching. And I will be back making an update video in four weeks. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.